Hey, it's Jordan with TYT. Uh, we have, right before Bernie Sanders goes on, uh, three super volunteers, which are basically the creme de la creme, I would call them, uh, that have volunteered the hardest for Bernie, uh, had the most impact. You were uh, awarded to come here. You still had to pay your own dime to come here, but you were, assumer, presumably, to be given credentials to get in, uh, access, maybe a few kind words, a smile. Tell me about your experience so far. Well, we arrived here and it, we did, nobody knew what was going on. Basically, we didn't get any credentials to get into the convention center here today until about two hours ago. So we were supposed to be on the floor working with our delegates from our states earlier in the day today, but all of that seemed to just disappear. And what was the communication coming here? Were you told, like, yeah, you're going to have credentials to come down? Uh, we were told we were going to be working with the delegates from our states and helping people like find their seating mm -hmm. areas and we were going to be given a folder that would have information in it so that we could help people answer questions and well, they needed people that could put out fires, people that could organize well, people that could drive people around. There were a lot of different jobs that were needed. So when you came, when you came here, obviously the you have to go somewhere to pick up credentials, get access to the floor. We went to uh, the Philadelphia Convention Center and we were given our initial set of credentials, which is just for the Philadelphia Convention Center. Which is not the building not where the, the convention is. Where the convention is. It's just the convention center. And uh, we were um, told that we needed to wait to get our other credentials. They were working on it nobody really knew anything that we were then all given a made sure we were on the same texting network so that we could all get texted when we when they had the credentials and be told where to go and pick them up and everyone has been waiting all day so you're basically sitting around twiddling your thumbs for 6 hours well, we were standing around for a long time, so we actually walked over there to the yes. credentialing area um, at the Wells Fargo Center. And let, me, let me give you a little picture here. It's 100 degrees out. These people came in on their own dime. They're super volunteers, presumably they're super, and they're supposed to be treated right. So you walk over here. So we went over to the table where it was like a lounge there, and all the Hillary volunteers are lounging, drinking water, watching TV, and it's just all Hillary volunteers. So we go to the credentials table, and we tell them that we're there to pick up our credentials. And they say, oh, who's your team leader? We didn't say we were Bernie. Who's your team leader? And we said who it was, and they said, oh, I don't know. Go over there and sit and wait. And then they figured we were Bernie. So they came over and they said, oh, credentials aren't being handed out until noon. So we sat there and waited until noon. We had some ice cold water out of the fridge and there were little Uber candy snacks on the tables and the TVs were all playing. Then we went back up there and they said, oh, you're Bernie people. You don't, you don't get your credentials here. And I said, but all the Hillary people do. And she said, well, I can't comment on that. And I said, well, they're all here. They've all got their credentials. They're in here. It's well, you, you have to go down in the basement with the rats to get a credential? I guess so. And so then she told me, oh, blame it on uh, your floor manager for the Bernie campaign, Robert Becker. It's him, you know, that's caused the trouble with us. That's what she said. So let me just get, so there's 800 overall super volunteers, correct? And you guys, after all this rigmarole got in, but you're in the nosebleeds. And there's 600 super volunteers who were told they can't come in. It was a little salt in the wound to find out that they'd gotten the personal tour of the Wells Fargo. They'd brought up, been brought over here on an air-conditioned bus, and we've been all camped out at the convention center all day long. Now, I just want to get the numbers right. 600 of you guys. Well, to be clear, a lot, a lot of us came for the whole week. Some people are pitching in for a couple of days here and there. That's the total count. But, but right now we, we're only able to get 200 of our volunteers in. And, and with all of the delegates that we have, we'd like to have them have help. We're supposed to be their runners. We're supposed to be getting communication between them. I, I believe that it's just another way of slowing us down you know, breaking up the communication between our delegates. If we're stuck up in the nosebleed section, we're of no help to them. If we're running around 
keeping them together. But coming here, you were obviously communicating with somebody. So what were they telling you you were going to be able to do? Well, the Bernie campaign has volunteers from the campaign. They just, they kept us on call. We'll, we're going to get the, the credentials. We're, they keep telling us we're going to get. So we know they've been very frustrated. They've been strong. They've been given the, they've been given the runaround. Absolutely, and there was very clear that people from the DNC were telling me this at the table, trying to blame it on somebody in the Bernie campaign. And I'm like, but the Hillary people are picking up their passes here. The Hillary people are all organized in advance. There's cleaners in there. There's all sorts of people in there. It's like in Nevada when suddenly 50-something Bernie delegates yeah. can't get in. Oh, uh, Now, if you don't mind me asking, around, what's the range of how much you've spent? to be here. Okay. I don't need a dollar, but, you know, around. Okay, well, I'm a lucky person because I have no money. I've been unemployed for several years, so I have a friend who flew in from California and paid for both of us to take ra tr the train from New York to Philadelphia. We were going to go round trip every day, so he bought tickets, train tickets hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It's expensive to Good friend. Amtrak. Nice friend. So he paid for the two of us to come and be here for this. And I mean, nothing. What I mean, we we were supposed to be working and helping and we wa we wanted to be here helping and volunteering. That's what we were here for. And um, we're not being allowed to, to help or do anything. Were you as lucky? Did you have a friend pay for you or you had to <laughs> drop some of your own? I did. I, I you know, it's somewhere around seven hundred dollars or so. I think that my time off work. <laughs> I think that's it's a really good um, microcosm of the greater problem. All these delegates are sleeping five in a room, spending hundreds of dollars to be here, and this is the party of the people. Um, but you guys were volunteers this whole year. It's not like you got anything from this. Yet now, for tonight, six hundred can't go in. And you guys are pretty much up in the boondocks and treated like second-class citizens. As we try to meet with our delegation, and we don't have the credentials to get in to talk to them. One thing that was important is that Bernie has great relationship with the universities, and Rutgers, Camden, gave us total dorm use. So we were able to, you know, not have the housing. Um, but most of it, I came from Seattle. Uh, uh, flight, you know, 12 hour, you know, lay. I mean, so you're in a, you're in at least, you know, a couple hundred bucks for this week, maybe more than that. 1500, 1500 to 2000 when you get all the meals in and to be up in the nosebleeds and wait for four hours just to get to that. It's, it's more about, we help get those delegates elected. We've been raising money for them. We want to be here with them. And we know that half those people out there are Bernie people. <laughs> so do you feel like um, this is kind of like a orchestrated thing where it's just like, you know, let them wait, that kind of thing? Totally orchestrated. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that they told us when the, the people from Bernie's campaign, who are wonderful, explained to us at the first meeting that we had when we arrived, I think what I said before is that the reason they selected us is because we were the people that they found to have worked the hardest for the campaign over the past year and they wanted to as a gift help, you know have us come here and you know of course we signed up to volunteer as well for the four, four days but they were trying to do something good for us and we love Bernie and we want to do whatever we can to continue to help him I forgot what your question was well it, was just, it's, it basically sounds like we're talking everybody is unify unify uh, this doesn't sound like uh, something that is going to make you unified. That's the thing. When you come here and you think, um, you know, it's fantastic to be here and whatever we have to do to further the revolution along in terms of putting up with this stuff, we're doing it and we're making a complaint about the um, unfairness on the part of the DNC and how they've shown preferential treatment and how they've... Well, if you saw those emails, I think we know. Exactly. <laughs> but they continue to work against Bernie, to thwart Bernie and all the efforts. So we we can't even go down there and support the delegates, but then we have to listen to them stand on stage and make these false messages of unity and 
we're going to elect Hillary. The super delegates haven't even voted. The delegates haven't even voted. There's been no vote taken yet. So for them to just keep saying this, it's like they're brainwashing people. Just having people in here 12 hours a day and keep saying this propaganda to them, things that aren't even true. The joke is the things they attribute to Hillary, like her being the party of the people and how she's going to fight for the average person and how she's going to fight for people uh, that are facing deportation. They're all just such untruths. But because people have sat here uh, for 12 hours... And no, no, they're truths until Election Day, yeah. and then we'll see. Yeah. But this, see, that's the whole thing with this compromise is they throw a nugget, you know, in saying, oh, yes, we're going to do that. But it's never going to happen. All the things in terms of the platform, they say this is the most progressive platform ever. It certainly is not. Yeah. There's I'm so sure little in know. here. Lastly, uh, I'm hoping this video gets around. So we got three more nights. You got a message for the DNC? Yes. For there's, there's 800 of you. Obviously, maybe you can't get 800 in one, in one night, but it seems to me that they're intentionally leaving quite a lot of people out. What would be the message to them to, you know, for the, for the rest of the week? They want our vote? Who thinks that we're going to follow their voting suggestions when they treat us like this? They're totally alienating a huge chunk. Bernie Sanders has the biggest voter base of any candidate in history. He has 76% of the independent voters, 46% of the Democrats. Bernie has more voter power, and this is how they treat us. In a general election. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and this is how they treat us, and then they expect us to unify. Well, I find it interesting that everybody wants Bernie's message. Trump is stealing it, and Hillary, and every sitting in that convention hall today, we all had a lot of time to talk, and every one of us has been attacked by a Hillary person. I was in Panera. Not physically, I hope. No, Panera Bread. This was the talking point, because I actually got a copy of their talking points that were sent out to all the Hillary delegates on how to talk to us. And, and the gal in the Panera went right off script. She said, she said, don't you know that Hillary believed and uh, was standing for everything that Bernie did before anybody knew what Bernie's name was? I hope, uh, I hope you have a better night, and I'm sorry for your struggles. Thanks. Okay.